my name is Dr. Bruce Foskey. I'm Principal Trombone of the Delta Symphony Orchestra and an Assistant Professor of Trombone at Arkansas State University. I'm here today to talk to you about my favorite instrument, the trombone. So the trombone to me is an instrument that it's unique in the orchestra. It's unique amongst all of the instruments because of this slide, because I have to use so much of my upper body to play the instrument. Uh, when I first picked this instrument years ago, it was because it looked like nothing else in the group. And I just fell in love with the sound right away. Now the cool thing about the trombone is that it represents different characters. You might hear a, a theme in a movie and it's a bad guy, it's probably a trombone. But then there's other times the most beautiful, sweet, loving song in the world can also be the trombone. So we wear many hats, many moods, many personalities. I just fell in love with it. How do you know where to put the slide to change notes? Well, if you've watched any of the videos from our brass brethren, the trumpet, the horn, or the tuba, you see that they have these valves. Now we all make a sound with our lips, but they change notes with valves. We don't really have that. We have this long slide. Now this is where we're kind of like our string friends who find notes on the string with their ears and their muscle memory. So when I need to find a D, I know where to go. Because I've been playing trombone for a long, long time. And so you really have to use your ears to find each of the notes. How long would the trombone be if it was in a straight line? The trombone, if you take all of these tubes and straighten them out, is roughly nine feet in length. Not bad, huh? So the first example that I played was Bolero by Maurice Ravel. It's an example of orchestral crescendo. We start with few voices and we keep adding voices all the way through until the entire orchestra is playing together. It's a lot of fun to play and it's a marathon. The other piece that I played was from Wagner's Ring Cycle. It's the Ride of the Valkyries. It's another example of a trombone character or trombone representing a character in a piece of music. Super exciting, lots of fun, two very, very different pieces. So one of the neat things about the trombone is that we have these many mutes that we can use to change the sound of the instrument. You think with the term mute that it would mean softer, and it can change the sound and make it softer, but really what it does is it changes the color of the sound, changes the character of the sound. This is the most common mute that we use, it's called a straight mute. gives it kind of a metallic buzz to the sound. The next mute that we use, probably the next most often, is the cup mute. And if you see the difference between the straight mute and the cup mute, the cup mute has a cup at the bottom. That's where the name comes from. So this gives a little, little more hushed sound, a little mellower tone. It sends some of that sound back at the bell. Just a different sound. Now the next one is my personal favorite. This is the Harmon mute. This can be used in a couple of different ways, but mostly we play it with this stem in. If I was going to play a cartoon character, I would use that mute if I was playing their theme song. So the trombone, as it's said with all of these instruments that look like this, they're made out of brass. They're all, they're all metal. And brass is an alloy, copper and zinc that are sort of mixed together in a big fire, rolled out into sheets, and then a very, very skilled craftsperson turns that flat sheet of metal 
into this beautiful, beautiful instrument. Now, as I said before, the trombone's main difference from the other brass instruments is this long, long hand slide. Well, this long, long hand slide is very important in the history of music because at one point in time, trumpets were super, super long. And then at some point they decided they could fold these brass pieces over and make the longer instrument more manageable, easier to hold. Well, then at some point, somebody decided, well, what if we made the tube slidable? What if we could expand the length of the instrument and shorten the length of the instrument to change the pitch? And that's kind of what we have here. The trombone hasn't really changed much since the 1500s. We've had the addition of the water key, where we can let some water out when we play a lot. And then over here, we have a valve that allows me to play some extra notes, but mostly the trombone has stayed the same. And the calling card of the trombone is the gliss. We're really the only instrument in the orchestra that can do it that well. Other instruments can play a lot of notes in a row, but we're the only one that can just play every single note all the way up the slide the way that we can. And so what we're probably best known for, unfortunately. One of the unique parts of a brass instrument is the mouthpiece. This is the funnel-shaped tool that we use to direct the vibration of the wind from the lips into the instrument. And so when you were a small child, you probably maybe you played with toy cars. It's really not all that different from what we do when we play. So we take that sound, or we put that into the mouthpiece, and then we uh, put that into the trombone. And the trombone colors the sound and makes it characteristic for our instrument. The same way that would happen for trumpet, the same way it happens for horn, the same way it happens for tuba. So I hope you enjoyed this snapshot about the trombone, the instrument of the orchestra that you know, it's a lot of fun to play. It's been a lifelong passion for me. One of the other passions that I have is performing in public for people. And if you ever have the opportunity, I hope you take the opportunity to come and hear the Delta Symphony Orchestra, usually at Riceland Hall on the A State campus. It's a lot of fun. Bring a friend, bring mom and dad, and just have a good time. Because music is about having a great time together, sharing this beautiful art. I hope you enjoyed this video about the instruments of the orchestra. If you like this one, please check out our other videos and give us a like and subscribe to our channel.